In this video, we're going to continue with our painting and our changing of surfaces. We want to have a look at doing some wallpaper and painting of these walls, as well as the carpet down by here. So we're going to go back to our third floor plan. And again, we need to split the surface. So click on an object, click the split surface, and then find the room boundary. There we go. Got it. So we can see we've got the previous division that we had by there. What I'm going to do now is draw around the perimeter of the room. And there we go. Now, you're not allowed to draw lines overlapping those orange lines. So that's that. We go back to our 3D section and we will paint that surface with our carpet. Okay, so we need some new materials. Manage materials, new material, rename carpet, and I think it's a cork style. Find the image, kind of bark style rather than cork, sorry. Just rename that. Try and get something reasonably close in colour to it. And then modify paint carpet and there's our carpet now we didn't change the actual size of the carpet on materials that point so I'm just going to go back in and do that We can see it's created that sort of lined pattern. So I'll go back to the appearance and just change this, edit the image. So it's only put it in as a 300 mil square. I think I'll change it to, if I change it to 4,000, we'll see what that looks like. Done, click OK. Oop. Possibly a bit too big that time. We can see the effects of it quite clearly by there. I think it is a bit too big, so we'll change that again. And sometimes, if you're not totally sure, I'll go 2000. That looks better. So you can see a bit of texture on the carpet, but it's not too over the top. And it's not too obvious either where the joints are in the tiling pattern. 
now I want to create some colored walls with the painting that I've done. So a couple of these I can just paint straight off. So let's do the modify tab, paint. I'm going to have a red wall as a feature. Now I put them under paint. There we go. And I think I'll have that wall. No, oh, not in that colour. We want it in the paint. If I just type in red by there, he'll find it. And then if I go for cream, I haven't created that one yet, so I'll just go and do that first. Manage materials, new material, name, paint, green. Bit of a tricky colour. Nothing obviously close to it. I'll just use the yellow. It'll stand out, but with our image, scroll down, paint cream, there we go. Graphics, change these as well. And now I'll flick back to the modify and paint, paint cream. Paint that wall and that wall, that wall and that wall. And then I wish to do something a bit different on this wall by here. So what I've done, I've downloaded an image um, and I want to do that as like a feature wallpaper. So I'm just going to check the size of that wall. To do this, I'll have to go across to one of my sections where I'm looking at it. There we go. So if I just measure this wall, it's three meters high by 3.9. So I'll remember 3.9 by three. And now I'll create a new material for this new material rename feature wallpaper I'm gonna make it a bluish color because there's a lot of blue in that particular picture I've used and then the image the balloons. Click OK. Edit image and remember the size. It was 3.9 across. 3.90 and connect them and make that 3.123. There we go. And say done and OK. And now go back to our 3D section. And we're going to paint that material. Feature wallpaper. And hey presto, we have a feature wallpaper by there.
So that covers different options of pin painting and creating surfaces. What I thought it would also be nice to look at by here is actually some of these furniture objects. Now, when we click on this one, we can edit the type and we can duplicate it. And that's fine, number two as the name. And now we're going to change some of these materials. So I think the cherry wood is a nice option. So we'll stick with that. And we'll use that instead of the cherry wood cherry. Click OK. And I'll change the metal to copper. And click OK. So now when we click on this piece of furniture, we can that is the same look cherry and copper so we're fine on that one but then this one we want to create a duplicate of this one and we've got that one as mahogany so we're going to change that one to cherry as well give ourselves matching furniture you'll notice on this one you can actually change some of the sizes on some of them it does allow you to do that on other ones it doesn't so when we click on this now, we don't need to go into the edit type again, but instead we can just click the one with the number two on that we've created and that will just swap it over to that one. And then we've got our bed. Click on that and see what we've got for material on that one. So that's a birch wood, so we'll duplicate that one and we'll change the wood to cherry again. So now we've got a suite of matching furniture. So that has just decorated that room out quite nicely with a variety of colours and textures and just making the furniture a bit more uniform.